Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today, I got maybe the best attack. I, I feel like I make a new attack strategy video every single week, but it is, it is currently 10.30 at night time. Jimmy was supposed to upload a video um, for you guys today, um, but the video is not up, and usually he has it up by then. So I've decided I'll take it over and maybe Jimmy uploaded, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, but yes, here we go. So I feel like I discovered the best attack strategy. You guys know from the thumbnail, but probably not the title. Here we go. It's Tank Medic. Now, if you are a longtime viewer, you will know that I am not a big Tank Medic fan. I am not a fanboy. I hate Tank Medic. From the moment I started playing Boom Beach, or from the moment people started attacking my base of Tank Medic, I just hate it. And I know I have a lot of Tank Medic players or subscribers, so I'm sorry if I offended you, but I'm just not a big fan of Tank Medic. Wait, what? This is Warriors. We don't want Warriors. <laughs> this is Tank Medic video. Um, here we go. This space. Um, yeah, so I, I, I decided to try it earlier today because it's tank mania thanksgiving um and it, it's tank mania so i decided to try it and oh my gosh it is such a good strategy i love it now it's kind of like scorchers that's why i like it i love attacking of scorchers and that's probably why i'm so i mean i'm not amazing at tank medic but i feel like i'm getting better with every single attack because I do know how Scorchers walk, and I feel like they're kind of the same as Scorchers. You don't get a lot of energy off the bat, but one thing I do like about Tank Medic is the fact that you do get more energy off the bat than Scorchers. You can take down buildings ahead of time than Scorchers. Scorchers takes up all of your energy to land, 8 times 12, just to land 8 Scorchers. So it does take a lot of energy, and with tanks, it's only like 6 per boat. Um, so it's like half of, I and mean, then I get like half energy, or like I get like 60 energy to do whatever I want with. So it, it's really handy when I do have a gumbo energy boost in it. Then it gets like super easy to take down and clear my map. But I'm just loving Tank Medic um, a lot recently, so I feel like it is the best attack strategy as of now. Now there are certain bases that I cannot take down of Tank Medic. Um, I actually think this is one of them. Yeah, so this is a base I did not even try to take down a tank medic because I feel like this is kind of an anti-tank base. Um, now, if I had boosted Gumbo Energy, I could easily take this down with tank medic, but I don't. So that's why I uh, used Warriors, and I was easily able to take it down with Warriors. So is it the best attack strategy? No, but it definitely is a good attack strategy for certain types of bases. This was a treat. This guy is like a level 50 at like 750 medals. So this was honestly just a treat for me. Because, you know, easy, super easy base. So I just let them go. Nothing can defeat them. Um, but yeah, watch this hot pot. So the hot pot is actually out of range of all of these defenses. Um, I mean, the tanks cannot see it, of course, before it pops up. So I drop a shock. And, like, the tanks fire, like, a couple times. And it just, just completely wrecks and destroys that hot pot so we're just kind of cool like how fast that hot pot went down um okay we'll show you a couple npc bases and i actually have my map cleared so i can't do any live attacks but i saw tanner uploaded a friendly battle so maybe we can do some smoky tank medic because that's going to be fair because he's like a level 47 or something so that would be fair if i do something like that um, yeah, so you can't take down resource bases. Well, I'm not skilled enough to take down resource bases. I've seen people take down resource bases with just tanks, but I'm not that skilled yet. And I still think that all warriors are, is, is the best attack strategy for taking down resource bases. Now, this next base was the hardest base I had to take down with tank medic. And I did lose a lot. Now, one of the reasons, like I knew tank medic was a very strong attack strategy, but one of the reasons why I did not recommend it to viewers is because it's not very efficient to clear your map. You'll lose one, it takes 20 minutes to train up. So you lose two in a boat, that takes 40 minutes. And it completely throws a hump if you want to stay on online at one time and it clear your map with a boost or something. So I don't recommend tank medic if you have a super boost going on 
I mean, you're not that skilled, but obviously if you are super skilled, you know a lot more about this than me. So don't comment, oh, Christian, you don't know what you're doing, because I don't. I'm giving advice to you guys that are not big fans. Now, I actually did attack this base a few minutes ago, so I should have did it live, but then I realized Jimmy didn't upload anything for today. And my hair was a mess, so I quickly ran into the bathroom and just washed it. Um, but I didn't, like, put anything in it today, so this way. My hair has a way it has to go, but I, I, you guys don't care about that. Actually, some of you guys do, and you guys have commented. Now, a lot of people have commented about um, this whole resource base, the biggest uh, mistake that Boomy players make. The video saying resource base, they're just like, a lot of people have disagreed with that video, and I just want to address that quick. Um... The main reason people were saying, oh, I disagree with you, they were saying that because chances are if you click find a new opponent, there is a chance you'll get either a harder or an easier resource base. So they were looking at it from a perspective of how easy is this base to take down. Now I know that it's pretty easy for me to say at a max level because I could take down pretty much any resource base of warriors. Um, but like from a person that's like middle, mid level to lower level, it might not be as efficient. Um, to do that, um, but if you guys are offline for a few uh, or inactive for a couple months at a lower level, there's a higher chance that those players will become inactive. Um, because the longer you go, I feel like the more active players kind of settle out, and so you'll get paired up with active players. And it takes longer. It takes longer to make a higher up player inactive than a lower player because they've been playing the game longer. And I, that's just my opinion, because I feel like I wouldn't quit the game because I put so much into it. Um, but I, I might quit the game because I'm bored of it. I'm not saying I'm just had someone. I'm just trying to give an example. I'm definitely not bored of Boom Beach right now. I, over, I have over 107 intel, and I was looking at the top task forces to see how I would compare, and it just made me feel awful. Look at that. That cost me like a tank. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I was looking at the top task forces to see how I would compare, and oh my gosh, there was someone with like a, almost 200 intel. He will get 200 intel by Sunday, by the reset, which is Sunday morning at like 6 a.m. So that's just crazy, guys, that someone was able to get that much intel in a week. That's just insane to me. Like, I got 107, and I was pretty much on all the time. So you would have to, like, have your map piled up with players and then clear them as soon as it resets. Because if you have a, a fully cleared map, then the intel resets. You won't get as much intel. Um, so, yeah. We do not want a damage 9. Oh, this is a miracle. Oh, I love it. I love Tank Mania. And it is a glitch player, which means he's, um, he didn't attack since the, since, um, so, yeah, it's, it's a little weird. He's logged on since that whole emblem, what, what's it called even? The victory, the rank came out. He, he logged on in the last 72 hours, but he hasn't attacked since this rank feature has came out. And, or actually... Yeah, it was just glitch on my part. That's how it used to be, but then I guess they did something in the last update. Now it shows his rank. Um, it's just kind of weird. I look like an idiot. So what I do is I look at the HQ of a final position, and I see which boom cannons are in range of it, like at one side. And I don't know if that's the most efficient, but this is actually a very symmetrical base design. So I'm going to try my best to take it down, but I can't guarantee anything because I'm not a very good player. He also does have health boosted. Not boosted, but he has health on his base. So that's going to make it a tiny bit harder also. Okay, hit attack. Now what we do have to take down is we do have to take down this boom cannon pretty much off the bat. We could land our troops over here. Good. Good. That's actually really good. Um, it's okay if the shock launcher fires. Not a big deal. I haven't been pressed for time at all since I started clearing my map with this strategy. So it definitely does not matter. But the cannons kill them. Um, cannons are pretty deadly, I found out, so we do have to watch out for cannons in high-level sniper towers. Um, that's the main things we have to watch out for. And we are going to drop another shock, load up 
Okay, here we go. Now, the shock blaster is going to be in range. And we do have a couple more boom cannons coming in. Which is not good. Everything kind of against us at once. Okay, now we can drop a flare over here. We're going to regroup. And a flare right here. So, we do have to take down this boom cannon. And the shock blaster will also need to be down. So, we're going to drop a... Barrage on the shock blaster. Jimmy sent me a snapchat probably responding to my text Jimmy sent me another snapchat probably also responding to my text back down to our tanks We haven't lost any yet, which is good. We're gonna drop a never Yeah, we lost. Oh, we didn't lose one. Wow Not ex I was expecting to lose one. Okay, we're gonna soak up a bunch of this energy We're gonna take down this boom cannon with gumbo energy and just t um, Land or park our tanks right here and I better focus and not m not mess up here. Um, so if I drop a barrage, I should be able to take down this boom cannon. So just overall learning the basics of this strategy. And uh, yeah, Bull Cable, big tank medic fan. Definitely go check out his channel. And this is actually going to get really deadly because I don't have enough energy to do anything here. Um, I can just hope. There we go. Okay, we didn't lose any. Um, that should give me one more flare. We're gonna drop a flare back. Tanks should. Oh, hopefully they all walk down to the HQ and stay out of range of that boom cannon. What is that tank doing? It just walks straight up. There we go. Wow. Zero losses. That's not something you see every day. That was an amazing attack. I feel confident. I'm learning this strategy top to bottom and a lot of people are commenting saying christian you're such low victory points guys i'm pushing i'm trying to get up i used to be at 900 so i definitely know what i'm talking about higher up um actually i used to be at like 950 but that's gonna be it for the video guys i hope you did enjoy if you did be sure to drop a like as always i'll talk to you guys in the next one